solve x squared plus 4x equals 12. We know this is a quadratic equation because it has an exponent of 2 on the variable. And to solve a quadratic equation, the first thing you want to do is to get it into standard form. That standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So in other words, we want 0 over on this right-hand side of the equation. To do that, we're going to subtract 12. We have a positive 12 here, so we're going to undo that. Subtract 12 from each side. And that will give us, then, x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Okay, now we're going to factor this left-hand side. We're going to solve this by factoring. Well, to factor that, first you look for the greatest common factor. And there is no greatest common factor that we can factor out of everything here. So we're going to put these parentheses down because we know the way these trinomials factor. There's a pattern here. And we need these first two terms to multiply to equal x squared. So we have x and x. x times x is x squared. Now, here, we need two numbers. Two numbers such that they multiply to give you negative 12 and add to give you positive 4. Well, what are some factors of negative 12? 3 times negative 4 4 times negative 3, but if you add those, you don't get positive 4. 2 times negative 6, 2 times negative 6 is close, but 2 plus negative 6 gives you negative 4. I'll write that down. 2 plus negative 6 equals negative 4. So we can't use the, that one, but negative 2 plus 6. That works. Negative 2 plus 6 does equal positive 4, so that fits our criteria here. Negative 2 times 6 equals negative 12, and negative 2 plus 6 equals positive 4. So let's write those in there. Minus 2 and positive 6. Now that we have these factors, we can set each of them equal to 0, because either x minus 2 or x plus 6, or both of them, equals 0 to get this product. That's the only way you can multiply something to get 0, is if one of the factors equals 0. So we're going to have two, I like to call these mini equations. You have this x minus 2 equals 0, or x plus 6 equals 0. So in this first mini equation, we have to solve it. We're going to add 2 to each side. And I know you can do that in your head, but just for teaching purposes, I'll write it down and you get the solution of x equals 2, meaning if you plugged in 2 in for x into this equation, it would make this equation true. But you also have this other mini equation that is also a solution. So we'll subtract 6 from each side to solve this, and that gives us a result of x equals negative 6. So your two solutions are 2 and negative 6. That is, if you plugged in negative 6 in for x, it would make this equation true. You could write that in set notation. I'm sorry, not set notation, but you could write this just like this. That's another way to write those, um, those solutions.